and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be testing a new foundation that I just picked up. It's the Becca Skin Love Foundation and I haven't even opened the box. I just got this yesterday. I was watching a video, I think it was on Sona's channel, Simply Sona, and she was talking about how much she, she loved this foundation. She said that it wasn't too matte, it wasn't too radiant, it just looked like skin and it blurred pores and so I was like sold. <laughs> so I went to Sephora yesterday and I picked it up. Um, so I have the shade Buttercup. So I hope this is the right color, the right shade. It seemed like the right one when I was swatching it on my hand. This is the shade that I got, Buttercup. It's got quite a bit of golden um, yellow undertones to it. Uh, a little bit lighter. I tend to like my foundation to be like a tad light because I go and bronze up the skin and add some warmth that way. And I don't like my face to look darker than the rest of my body. So, okay, so let me just run through all the benefits with you of this foundation and then we will get to applying it. So this retails for $44 from Sephora. You get 1.23 ounces, so just slightly over an ounce, which is an ounce is pretty typical of foundation. So you do get a good, nice, healthy amount in this foundation. It's described as having a velvety skin-like finish, which sounds like a dream to me because velvet actually reflects and absorbs light. So it, when I hear velvety finish, I think of a foundation that is in between a matte and a radiant finish foundation, which is like the perfect foundation in my opinion. It comes in 24 shades and is supposed to be great for all skin types. Literally, all skin types are listed as uh, skin types that work for this foundation. It's also described to be weightless and it's also described to help camouflage and blur pores and imperfections. It's supposed to have a blurring complex in it, uh, so I'm kind of excited about that. If there's any texture on my skin that I'm more aware of, it's definitely the pores on my cheeks. I'm definitely starting to get, you know, some lines underneath my eyes and fine lines here and expression lines, but, you know, I kind of just embrace them. Um, obviously, I don't like products that enhance them, but I, um, I, I don't know, I kind of embrace them. I have found that it's hard for me to find products, cosmetic products specifically, that really are going to camouflage that or blur that, uh, but the pores are something that I feel like I can usually find out the right product that will help with that. So we are going to apply this and I'm going to be checking in with you guys throughout the day, kind of showing you how it wears on my skin. At this point I have nothing on my skin except moisturizer and a little bit of eye cream. Um, I'm not going to apply a primer with this. Uh, I'm just going to test it kind of on its own merit and see how it performs. I do want to mention on the box here it says it has vitamin C, cold pressed avocado and me melon blend, and bitter ginger. All right so let's get this hair back because it is going to get in the way. So today's my birthday. I am 36 years old today. By the time this video goes up though, it will not be my birthday. <laughs> but uh, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that it is my birthday today. Uh, I don't know why, but this birthday seems a little different. Um, it seems like such a bigger deal than 35 was. Like I feel like 35 is a big birthday, but 36 for some reason feels like, wow, like I am closer to 40, which I have no problem with. I'm not complaining by any means, but um, I don't know, it just feels different, you know? Okay, so let's go ahead and start with, let's just go ahead and start with the foundation and then I'll go and apply the rest of my makeup off camera and then we'll come back. So again, I got the color Buttercup. This is what the packaging looks like. It kind of reminds me of the It Cosmetics uh, CC cream. You know, it's in a squeezable tube, but it does stand up on your vanity because it has a nice flat uh, lid. And it does have a pump. And I'm just going to do one full pump. This is the consistency. It's moving a little bit, but very, very slowly. So it definitely is a thicker, uh, kind of more whipped cream. It's not real liquidy or watery at all. And I am going to use my uh, e.l.f. Flawless Finish Brush. This is my favorite brush, but look how cheap it is. I have literally bought probably four of these, and after about a month or two, the handle always comes off because I wash them, and I guess the water gets in there. You can, I mean, you can even see the glue in there, and it just loosens the adhesive from the handle. And I, so anyway, when you guys see me in my videos using this, this is why I need to buy another one because I know this, this is, this is funny, but I love this brush. It's such a great brush. Okay, so it, right off the bat, looks like a lot of coverage to me. In fact, I probably went in and applied too much initially. Definitely a lot of coverage. So I'm just using the brush and I'm just pressing in the center of my face. I like this brush because you can just press, but it's also gonna blend out. And when you press, as opposed to like brushing down, you're going to get more coverage from a product. If I were to do this all across my face, I'm shearing the product out. I'm kind of compromising the coverage that I could be uh, getting. So I like to just press. And again, this brush at the same time blends it out so nicely, so it's really quick and easy to apply product. And it's like $6. All right, when I get to the perimeter of the face, I will kind of 
blend it out and sheer it out here because I really don't need much coverage here. I just need the foundation to blend seamlessly into the rest of my skin. That is really, really nice, you guys. And I think I did pick a good color. I do think that you could probably use a beauty blender to apply this as well because it seems to have enough coverage and be thick enough to where you will uh, still get decent coverage from a beauty blender. I typically don't like to use beauty blenders with really sheer foundations because the beauty blender does absorb product and it doesn't quite give the same level of coverage that a kabuki style brush or a brush like this will give. So I like to save my beauty blender for my really thick full coverage foundations. Um, but I think that this one you could do either way. You could use your favorite foundation brush or you could use a beauty blender. Okay, so it's definitely thick. Um, a little heavier than I expected it to be. Not necessarily bad, but um, I do feel the need to kind of like just go over everything to blend it into the skin. Get you. Let me get you guys a little bit closer. Okay, here we are. That's closer. That way you can really see what is going on here. Let me switch over to this beauty blender. So this shade is pretty yellow. Um, I think it'll work, but it's definitely something that I'm going to need to balance out with a lighter concealer. Okay, so I am kind of feeling like it is sitting in my pores. Do you guys see? Can you see there how the, I feel like it's kind of sitting in my pores initially. I can actually see each pore and I can see makeup inside of that pore. Do you see that? Okay. But we did just apply it, so we're going to give it some time to set and do its thing. I'm going to go here to the forehead. What did I use for moisturizer? I used the Drunk Elephant uh, La La Retro Whip. My skin has been really dry. It's been cold the last week here in Austin, so it's definitely needing a richer moisturizer. Okay, off the bat, you guys, I, I don't really care for the way that this looks. I don't think that it's blurred my pores at all. In fact, I think I've, it has settled in my pores. And in some areas of the skin, it's harder to blend out. Uh, now my skin is, like I said, a little bit more dry right now, so that could be why, but at the same time, it said that it was fine for dry skin, so um, I don't want to really give it a pass because my skin is dry. Um, this color is definitely yellow. I have not applied my concealer yet, and I'm not sure if you can see this in camera, but it is very, very yellow. It didn't really blend out right here. I'm going to go apply my concealer, and then we will see what we need to touch up as far as the foundation, but I do want to give the foundation at least a couple of minutes to kind of set. Uh, I don't want to judge it too quickly. So for concealer, I'm going to use my Josie Marin Vibrancy Concealer. This is the newest concealer that I've picked up, and I did get it in a shade that is quite a bit brighter. So perfect for this shade foundation, because I definitely need something to brighten it up a little bit. I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to blend the concealer into the skin. So as far as plans for my birthday, tonight Paul and I are going to dinner, just the two of us. And then this weekend on Saturday we are driving to Dallas and we're going to spend um, a night in Dallas and visit with my friend Chelsea and her husband Chris. And I'm so excited about that because I don't get to see her enough. I only get to see her maybe once a year. and She is one of my favorite people. One of my favorite people. I always feel so recharged and inspired and motivated after I hang out with her because she is one of the like coolest girls I know. She is just like, she's an entrepreneur. She's like a girl's girl. Like she's all about, um, she just like is one of those friends that like makes you feel like you can do anything that you want to do. You know, I mean, she's, she's, she's amazing. I feel like, I feel like every, I should see her every quarter. I feel like every quarter I should go and visit her and get kind of just a recharge. I don't know about this. Mm, okay. So here in my nose, it has really settled in pores. I hope that you guys can see that. Let me get a little closer even. This might be really unflattering for me, but that is okay because we have, because I have a mission here and it's to show you how this foundation performs. Okay, so do you guys see around my nose? I mean, it has really settled into every single pore uh, that I have in my skin. Same thing here on my cheeks. It didn't blur them at all. It simply found the pores and settled in them. 
Okay. All right, I'm gonna zoom you back out and we're gonna finish the rest of my makeup. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting to apply this and love it. This one I'm not thinking that I'm going to love, but again, we are like five minutes into this and I'm gonna wear this all day long. It's my birthday, I didn't think about that. I probably should have chosen a foundation that I love for my birthday dinner. Oh well, we're gonna roll with it. So really quick recap before I go and apply the rest of my makeup. So I've already kind of reiterated a few times how it's settling into my pores. I think that's the most obvious uh, con of this foundation at this time. As far as the finish, I feel like it is kind of a velvety finish because it does look matte in the places that I want it to, but there is this radiance that I see when I kind of turn towards the light. I do see the light hitting certain areas of the face and there being this really slight radiance to it. So I do like the finish. I don't necessarily like the way that it applied. I feel like it's kind of patchy in some areas. It didn't quite, uh, didn't quite blend very easily. I feel like it looks heavy in some areas. I feel like I have to do a lot of work to get it to look evenly applied. Okay, I'm gonna go apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I have all of my makeup on. I kind of like the way that my makeup turned out today. Um, if you're curious, I have on the Sigma Warm uh, Neutrals Volume 2 palette and the shades that I used are, I uh, started with this shade Passion Fruit in my crease. Then I added a little bit of this darker plum shade here on my outer corner. Then I added a little bit of the shade Toasty on my lid. And then I added a tiny bit of this shade right in my inner corner to brighten it up. So for the most part, the eyes are all matte with the exception of a little bit of that um, shimmery champagne shade in the inner uh, corner. And then my lips, you guys, this brand new lipstick, I picked it up at the same time that I picked up the foundation. Uh, it is the shade Tease by Bare Minerals. And I love this color. It is uh, just like such a pretty peachy pink uh, cream lipstick. I don't have any gloss on top, so I lined my lips with the Miraness Barely Nudes Lip Liner, and then I topped it with this lipstick, and I really, really love it. It's a little bit lighter than my typical peachy pink uh, lipsticks are, a little bit more muted, and I, I really like it, so I'm happy with that. Uh, okay, so let's get back to the foundation, because that's what this video is about. I did set it with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Loose Powder, and that did kind of smooth out and blur the pores slightly, but that's credit all to the powder. Uh, after I let the foundation sit on my skin for a couple of minutes, there really was no change. I still saw the foundation kind of settle into my pores. I think it looks nice having been set with loose powder. Uh, I like the finish, but um, I'm gonna zoom you guys in here a little bit closer because I do think that it just is magnifying um, texture. Uh, so let me zoom you guys in real quick. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna look into my mirror while I talk. Um, yeah, it it just looks, I mean, it's been on for like 20 minutes and it's already building up here in the uh, area around my nose. It is settling in my pores. Like I don't, I don't really care for this at first. Like I already kind of feel like I wouldn't reach for this foundation again. Um, and I haven't even allowed it time to wear or see how it wears throughout the day. So that's not really a good sign. But in true foundation review fashion, I am gonna wear this throughout the day. I'm gonna check in with you guys several times a day. With 10, 16 a.m., I'm gonna check in with you guys throughout the day and we're gonna see how this wears. I'm already thinking I might do this a second time. Whenever a foundation doesn't really perform well in the first like wear test, I almost feel like I should review it a second day with different products to see if that makes a difference. Um, so I might do that, especially if I end up washing this off early to do my makeup for the evening tonight. So, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with my day and I will check in with you guys in a few hours. Hey guys, it, it, I'm saying like I have a watch on. Let me go confirm the time. It is really dark now. It is 2.45. So it has been just over four hours, is that four and a half hours? And I wanted to check in with you guys. I'm standing in front of a big window so you are seeing natural light. I have quite a bit of shine happening and I just looked in the mirror to confirm because the viewfinder sometimes is hard to read. Um, and I definitely have to say this foundation has settled in pretty much every single pore that I have on my face. Um, definitely not a fan of it at this point. It's been four hours. I haven't touched up yet. I'm about to touch up with powder, but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like um, at this point before touching up. Um, it's pretty cold outside. It's not a hot day. Um, 
I haven't really been outside. I've pretty much been indoors most of the day. I went to pick up the kids from gymnastics, but um, aside from walking from my car to the building, I've been inside. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of this foundation already. I think I pre can pretty confidently say that. It's 2.45, we have dinner reservations at 7.30. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna keep this on and just try and like fix it for dinner or if I'm gonna kind of wear it another few hours and redo my makeup. I will definitely do at least one more check-in with you guys today and I'm gonna go ahead and film another um, video tomorrow wearing this foundation. I'm going to try and do something different. I'm going to apply a primer and possibly a different moisturizer and see if that helps the situation at all. But I wanted to give you guys a quick check-in just so you guys can see how things are looking at this point. Can you see? Let me get really, really close. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, see, it's um, it's settling in pretty much every single pore. I mean, you can see little tiny dots in my pores of the makeup. Yeah, not good. Hey guys, it's five o'clock and I wanted to pop on here really quickly because I have like a few minutes before I'm gonna get ready for our my birthday dinner, our birthday dinner, before Paul and I go out for my birthday dinner. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna redo my makeup. I just don't have it in me today. I am so... Uh, tired or lazy or both I'm not sure but I just dropped the kids off at my sister-in-law's and I got home and I have about 30 minutes about 20 minutes to just kind of relax and I don't feel like redoing everything but I did just look in the mirror and I'm really really not happy with the way my skin looks uh, I took a little bit of a cell phone video um, I'll just kind of put lay it over this video and also a picture with my cell phone um, so you could see but the foundation is just really just like moved into my pores and sat there so you see like little tiny foundation dots um, inside my pores. I don't know if you can see it. This is extremely unflattering. <laughs> the things I do for these foundation reviews. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I'm not happy with this foundation at all. Um, it's pretty shiny. I did touch up after my last check-in, which I believe was around 2.45, 2.30. I powdered with a loose setting powder. Um, and here we are just over two hours later, two hours and 15 minutes later, and I'm pretty shiny. So, um, not really happy with this foundation, not really one I would recommend. I think I'm gonna try this tomorrow and wear it with a primer and change the moisturizer. This morning I wore the Drunk Elephant La La Retro Whip uh, moisturizer, which is really thick and rich. So I'm gonna try it tomorrow with my Colleen Rothschild moisturizer, which is much thinner. I'm gonna try it with a primer. We're gonna see if I get better results. But um, I don't know, I'm kind of of the opinion that you shouldn't have to um, find the perfect combination of like skin prep to have your foundation look good, right? I feel like foundation should work with all skincare products. Of course, there's some exceptions. There are some skincare products that are really oily or really rich and they do affect your foundation, but I don't know. Um, I feel like this should have better results than this. So but anyway, in fairness, I'm going to give it one more day. Um, I don't know if I'm going to check back in tonight. I think I kind of want to check out for the day, have dinner, and um, I might just do that. So I will, um, the next time you guys see me, it'll likely be tomorrow um, or the next day that I film the second day wear test. All right, you guys, I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, so it's the next morning and I have applied the foundation, the uh, Becca Light Skin Love. And I'm glad I chose to do this a second day because this morning um, I'm already loving it way more than I loved it yesterday after just applying it. Uh, I do, I did change things up. So yesterday I used the Drunk Elephant La La Retro Whip Moisturizer, which is a really thick, rich moisturizer. And I didn't use a primer yesterday. Um, and when I put the foundation on the morning, if you remember, it immediately like settled into my pores. It didn't look good from the start. This morning, I applied Colleen Rothschild Sheer Renewal Cream, which is a very lightweight moisturizer. It almost like absorbs in, almost sets to like a, a powder finish. I mean, it's, it's the most interesting moisturizer, different moisturizer than I've ever tried. Um, so I put that on and then I did apply the Hourglass Mineral Veil um, in the um, center of my face, specifically here around my cheeks where I have an issue with pore, um, with pores. So I really like the way that the foundation looks right now. It's only been on for 30 minutes or so, but it is, it is like a completely different foundation than yesterday. So um, I'm glad I decided to do this second day test run. Um, let me look. I don't know if you can, here I'm going to get in a little closer. 
so you can see. I mean, I do see, if I look really closely, I can see little bits of makeup setting in the pores, but nothing like yesterday. Very, very different. Um, it looks good. I set it with a little bit of the uh, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder just in the center of the face. But today, this foundation is looking tons better than it did yesterday after initial application. So, so I'm going to recap you guys at the end of the day today and kind of let you know how it wears um, in comparison. Hey, guys. I am coming to you on day four of wearing this foundation and I am using my cell phone to film this because I feel like my cell phone is the best way to really show how foundations are wearing. Um, I'm definitely going to start including more cell phone video into my foundation reviews because I feel like when I when I use my cell phone and when I use my Sony like vlogging camera, there's quite a difference in the way that the skin looks. So I wanted to come at you guys um, and show you how, how it's looking on my cell phone. Um, the last clip that you saw, I didn't end up filming later that day. Um, that was kind of a crazy day. It was a bit emotional and I just, uh, it just wasn't the best day to test foundation. So I'm coming at you now. I have had the foundation on for about six hours um, and I have not touched up at all. And I want to show you how it is looking. I did apply it the same way that I applied it in the last clip, which is a lighter moisturizer, the Colleen Rothschild Sheer Renewal Cream. I used um, the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, and um, I, I can say after days of wearing it that way that that is definitely the approach for me to get the type of finish that I like with this foundation. The first day that I applied it, I used a heavier moisturizer, and I did not use a primer, and it immediately settled into my pores. Um, there was no period of time that I liked the way that that foundation looked, where applying it with a lighter moisturizer and that particular primer, I actually liked the way that it looks when I first apply it. Now, it does end up settling um, at the end of the day. It, it does end up settling. I just can't really avoid it. I'm gonna get really close here and personal. Um, I mean, it is really settled here into my pores and around my nose. Uh, I would give this foundation probably a, I don't know, you guys, you know, it's all relative with how, uh, how you judge things, but I don't feel like this foundation is terrible. I think it does look good for a period of time, but on me, it just ends up settling into the pores and the texture on my skin. It's not a terrible looking foundation, but it's certainly not one that I am ready to like put on my top list or anything. It's not one that I would recommend you go out and purchase, but... I would have to say that if you have um, texture in your skin, large pores especially like me, um, I, it's not one that I would recommend. It just, no matter what I do, it ends up settling into, into those pores. So um, this is one that I would probably recommend you pass on. Um, I tried to give it a good go, but I just think that, you know, after several days of wearing it, it's just not really, um, there's just so many other better options. So that is my review of this foundation. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, again, foundation is something that's totally personal. Um, you know, we all have different skin needs and different skin concerns. So I like to say that because I know that some of you guys, you know, wait for my reviews on products before deciding to purchase products or not. And I feel like with skin uh, products, particularly skincare, foundations, concealers, those are so personal that, um, you know, just because it doesn't work for me doesn't mean that it won't work for you, but I don't know. I just want to share my experience. That's what I'm here to do. All right, you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.